Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Education and Sports Dr. Pankamvi Pavan says the ministry will focus on improving the quality of education to enable Laos to better integrate with the region as well as cracking down on fake certificates circulating in the sector. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Education and Sports Dr. Pankamvi Pavan was responding to questions raised by National Assembly members at the ongoing National Assembly session last week. Dr. Pankam said his ministry has found some 100 fake certificates this year and announced it will continue to expose those kinds of activities in the future. He said, those who make fake certificates are considered to be lying and acting corruptly. I think that if they worked with government sectors in the future, they would continue to be corrupt and I think that we need to find them out. The minister also argued against the manner in which authorities have sold public schools to private sector as part of the government's policy to convert state assets into capital. Concerning the education curriculum, the government has a policy to ensure an English course is taught in the third class of primary school, but the minister noted that this policy was not been implemented properly. <laughs> ภาษาต่างประเทศอยู่ในทุกระบบการศึกษาของเราชวนภาษาฝรั่งภาษาจีนภาษาญี่ปุ่นภาษาเวียดนามอันนั้นจะเป็นภาษาเลือกตามความถ
the Ministry of Education and Sports plays the role of supplying human resources for various sectors in society. In past years, the ministry has not produced enough graduate to supply the required human resource personnel for sectors in society. He urged the relevant sectors to further train them in their specific fields so that they are better able to serve the sectors they are working in. Some officials have proposed that various ministries establish their own universities to produce quality human resources to work specifically for their sectors. But Dr. Pankam argued that this role should be played by the Ministry of Education and Sports. Meanwhile, other ministries should focus on upgrading the skills of those graduates who currently work in their sectors. No.